This is somewhat a funny story time, you know, from yeah. back in the day when we first started talking. Um, I don't know if you want to start it off. Well, I can't start it off, so. Um. Okay, hold on. If you guys remember from my vlog, the time I went to Niagara Falls, this is the story time to that, so stay tuned. So it started because Munchie had hit me up and we were just talking. And I remember Munchie coming on WhatsApp. And give me a message like, "Hey, you should surprise you should surprise your niece by come making a way to come out here for her birthday." Saying that, you know, if if we really wanted this to happen, because I'm Team Brian, but like I never liked you guys both that much. Like I don't like you, I don't like her. I'm joking, but um, it could work. This is what I'm gonna do, regardless of anything. If I can go home today or tomorrow and find a flight to Buffalo and a hotel for two days or whatever, or from the 4th to the 5th, for less than $300, I will definitely be in Toronto, in two, I mean, in Buffalo in two weeks. So you would definitely have to make that happen for me and say, like, y'all are doing, like, a shopping day in um, Buffalo. You are absolutely crazy. <laughs> what did I spark? I sparked this. I know. That's my fault. I sparked some craziness in your brain. Um, it's definitely possible. But now I'm like, oh, I have to take off work. I have to do all these things if I'm going to be that person. And so Munchie told me that. And I didn't have enough time to get a passport because it was like only a two-week time in advance. But I just so happened to go on Google Flights. And I found like a, a cheap ticket, you know, round trip. No. No. No, no you no. never found wait, did you even find a ticket? You were on Oh Buddy Pass. Buddy Pass. I had a buddy pass. I bought the buddy pass though. I had ended up buying a buddy pass and you know, it was my first time using a buddy pass and I just felt like, you know, I could just hop on a plane and make it there or whatnot. And I, I didn't, we'll get to there though. But Munchie had told me, you know, I should come surprise Shanice for her birthday. So it wasn't even your surprise, it was Munchie's surprise. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> Munchie gave me the thought, I put it into effect. Okay. So Munchie gave me the idea that I should come and surprise Shanice for her birthday. I didn't have a, a passport, I couldn't get a passport in time, but I noticed on the map in Buffalo, I could get a flight to Buffalo and Buffalo is not too far from Toronto. So it was agreed that if I made it to Buffalo, Munchie would come and bring Shanice over across the border so she could meet me. For so, my birthday. Yeah, for her birthday. So as I was trying to book the flight or send a flight schedule because I had my buddy pass, I was trying to get a hotel set up. And so during that time, when I before I bought my flight, I realized that on Groupon, it was given like this ball ass deal for these hotels, but all of them was on the Canada side of Niagara Falls and, and not on the good. American side. Canada side of so, Niagara Falls yeah. is bomb. Canada the US side, side is like, where are we? Yeah, the Canada side was dope. It, the hotels looked lavish, and on the other side, for the same price, beat up ass hotels, <laughs> right? So I'm looking and I'm like, damn, Buffalo ain't got no hotels. At least some that's affordable. So the one I I booked was kind of busted by what it looked like, but the room looked it like it was clean, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know got, about that. We ain't got there yet. I don't know. We ain't got there yet. But. We ain't got there yet. So <clears throat> when it was time for me to go to Buffalo, I go to the airport. I get on my buddy pass. I go to Baltimore. Flights delayed, delayed, delayed. Missed the flight. Too much luggage on the flight. So. Munchie had already left to like drive. And the thing is is that when we were already leaving, she's like, you know what, I'm not telling you where we're going. But I knew we were going to Niagara Falls because like, it, you know, I was like in the car. I can see like where we were going and stuff like that. But I was wondering, I'm like, are we staying in... Like I had a feeling it was 
Like no, I had the I had the feeling. I had the feeling that he was gonna be there, but I'm like, what about my passport? Like I didn't bring my passport. But my friend Munchie, sometime like during the week before she went into my room or and whatever, she took her passport. and she stole my yeah. passport. I she had no me idea. It was, it was like this. Me and Munchie had it. I had no idea had she took my part. passport. So I'm like, okay, we cannot be going to the US side. So I don't know. I'm like, how can it be Brian then? How can I beat him? I don't know. Yeah, so uh she had already left and they're in literally on the on the Canada I mean on the American side by now. And it's just burning time, burning time, cause my flight get delayed. We went to a restaurant. Yeah, anywho, my flight from Baltimore finally got on a flight to Buffalo. So I get on a flight to Buffalo and I had to go outside and get a taxi and take a taxi, which cost me like 80 bucks to go all the way from Buffalo Airport to Niagara Falls, where the hotel was. So by the time I pull up to the hotel, Munchie, Shante, and uh, Shanice are already like in the area, like down the street to the fact to where Munchie kind of saw, to the fact that Munchie kind of saw me in the cab, you know, while she was driving with Shanice. So I pull up to the hotel, I pull up to the hotel. It is busted looking from the jump. Like, I didn't get to see it yet because <laughs> I was blindfolded. My friends like turned me around. I'm gonna insert the clip so you guys can see that. But I was blindfolded, so yeah. I didn't see it yet. But even when she inserted the clip, you could see in the background like the motel. It was Motel Eight or something <laughs> like. <laughs> it was but below. It wasn't motel. a hotel. I don't know what he's talking motel. about. Motel. It's a motel. You know, as we... soon as you see the motel, you don't book a motel. Uh, yeah. Motel, hotel, same. Well, if it said motel, why you book it? Same thing. No, it's I don't. Not. I, I didn't look at stuff. No, hold on, guys. Comment down below. I it's didn't look at stuff like that. Hotel yes, it's, yes, it's two Who different things. Who am I? Things. It's two Who different things. Who am I? It's two different things. What are you coming to see me for? It's two different what things. You... <laughs> motel, right? And so we get into the motel room, man. And I'm talking about it looked like. A episode of Cops, like when they busted in the room and, and cops and they be in the motel. It looked just like that. Oh, like you, you forget <laughs> before what? So is this when before when you got in the room yourself? Yep, okay, all in we got eyes. in the room at the same time. Like I was no matter of fact, she was blindfolded, and I like opened the room to get her to walk her into the room or whatever. So I opened the room first, and I opened the room. I was like, God damn. <laughs> Hold on. Was... Hold on, but I, all I smelled was like somebody sprayed a bunch of axe everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I had to if it was because it. he was in the um the airport for so long, all I smelled was cologne, cologne. It was like <laughs> <laughs> But Munchie Munchie like literally led Shanice into this beat up ass hotel room, man. It was busted like it's probably worse in my mind than it actually is now <laughs> because like no, it was bad. we ended up spending the night in that hotel room. Hold on, you're still forgetting a part. part. When I walked in, what did you do? What song did you have playing? It was like a K-Camp song or something. Yeah, I had a K-Camp song playing or no. Or he was supposed to sing it though. You were supposed to sing no. it. No. Yes, you were, no. Brian. Don't lie now. No. Don't be trying to juice it up now. Brian, you told me. Don't be trying to juice it up. You're lying. You were you told, told me you were you're, you're, yeah, you told me you were just in it. I promise. You see how she got a low key mad. Because you're lying now. So I was supposed to You sing. told me that you were gonna sing it. When did I tell you I was gonna sing it? After the whole thing. A after Anyways, I already did it. Anyways, he was supposed to sing me a Here K Camp she, song. Here she go. Or did you sing it? I didn't sing. See, she don't know. She don't know what you're talking about now. I'm telling you, like, when she walked in to the room and she heard the K-Cam song, she knew it was me from the K-Cam song. I did. I didn't have to sing the K-Cam Wait. <laughs> he told me he was supposed to, but it didn't work out <laughs> Oh, my God. Tell me where you want to go. So I played this in the room. Tell me what you want to do. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, let's just continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Alright, so I played that song and she knew immediately it was me in there. Yeah, and then my blindfold came off and then he was smiling like, <laughs> and then I was like, woo! And then I gave him a big hug and then like I jumped on him or something like that. No, I didn't jump on you. But I came in between your legs and we were like hugging like. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And so after that, what did we do that night? 
just, we got ready. All the girls got ready, of course. We went to the casino for a little bit, right? The casino? Yeah, we went to the casino. So, so we slept in that bed. And all they, of us. Yeah, all of us slept in that bed. Like... And before, <laughs> and before we went to bed, we slept up. No, no, it was the next day. <laughs> it was the next day. So we all slept in the bed like this or whatever. Like It was like a... Uh, it was low to the ground. It was huge. And we slept on that bed. And then the next day, we got up and we went to Niagara Falls and we went to I or Denny's or something that like that. That morning we seen but that, that I know, I know. But before we went, like, I don't know how it happened. But I guess she came off. Was it Munchie? <laughs> Munchie or Chantel, like, you reached open and, like, lifted this to see under the mattress and whatnot. And there was... So it many stains, disgusting. it was nasty. <laughs> it was, it was like gross. Red blood stains or some shit. Yellow. Like, oh, it was awful. We just put it back. Like on. what a what a bad like, <laughs> second impression, okay? This is the second time like I really seen him and spent time with him. Wow. And he brought me to a motel with dusty ass wow. sheets and I, you know, I got up out of the real estate there one night. Two nights, wasn't it? It was one two night. it was two nights. We didn't stand there two nights. It was two nights. The first day, the first time when they were there, and then we stayed there one day on ourselves. I know, but we stayed at the the next no, one. No, that was the next day. I was there three days. You were there for three to four days, yeah. Like if I like close my eyes and think I'm in that room, ugh. But anyways, we went to another hotel after that because we're like, I'm like, I, no, I can't, like we can't do this. <laughs> yeah, it was disgusting. We tried to go, uh, like look for some happy hour spots or whatnot. And we walked up into this bar in Buffalo, and it was like, we walk in, and it's like nothing but like... It was so uncomfortable. White guys with like, jackets on and whatnot. And, like, and they all just went, Confetti flags and shit. And we walked Woo. in, and everybody was like, eh. He looked at us, and we were like, just like, close the door. Yeah, we, just we ain't supposed to be in this motherfucker, so... Or we ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there... We're like, what are we gonna do? We went to some store Each and one. I lost my purse that had my cards in it and the rest of my money, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I lost my purse, had my cards, my money in it. Luckily, my passport wasn't in there. But in order for us to get the LA membership, I did my ID. So I brought my passport in my pocket, my gym shorts or whatever. And we went to LA Fitness, we played basketball, we hooped, and who won? Who wanted the shooting contest? We played horse, and Who she won? won. She won in horse. I get rid of that. But then she lost every damn thing else. She yeah, I lost. Okay, he's trying to play me one on one. Obviously, I'm gonna lose. He's a guy. No, I'm talking about as in your wallet, your phone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, every damn thing. I did not so lose she, my phone. Well, you lost your wallet, your money, your passport. Yeah. So on the way out, I guess my passport fell out of my pocket. Somebody picked it up because we tried to retrace our steps and everything. I the police, remember the police officer? We, we spent half the time in Niagara Falls looking for Shanice's lost belongings. That's what we, that's what we did. We did. <laughs> we but he was so supportive all the way through. It's but stressful. the next day, uh, the police officer actually came, remember? Mm hmm And he was so rude. He's like, well, there's nothing I can do to help. Da, da, da. She didn't lost your damn. And he had the Confederate flag, too. Somewhere. Tatted on him. Yeah, yeah, he had it tatted on him. I'm like... Gosh, these people are so rude. Buffalo, New York, man. Black people, comment below if you're alive out there. <laughs> yeah, so that happened, and I was like freaking out because I'm like, how am I gonna get back home? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna cross the border? And I was like, girl, you're a Canadian citizen. They're gonna find a way to get your ass. I didn't back know. Over there. I was like so worried. I'm like, no. <laughs> but, anyways, what had to happen was that my sister, I told my sister and Munchie, and Munchie and my sister both drove all the way down here, brought like all my identification, my SIM card, IDs, all this type of stuff, and yeah, they came through for me. Like, I was gonna have to take the bus back anyway, so I was low key happy that they ended up driving down, but they yeah, came down. Yeah, and they gave me a ride to the airport too. Oh yeah, they did. Cause yeah. I got taxed. And that was actually the first time that we kissed as well, do you remember? Mm -mm. That was the first time we kissed, baby. In Niagara Falls. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you remember now. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was our little story of my birthday surprise. In that dirty-ass hotel. Dirty-ass motel. Motel. Dirty-ass motel, which I we will never be in again. Ever. Ever. I'm just very, like, 
Babe, if I was trying to make an impression on somebody, like, you know, <laughs> I would bring him to a nice Taj hotel, Mama. something like that. But he's lucky. He's lucky that I still stuck around, man. After that, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, she did. Did you feel bad? You know, after? Now, now you're standing in better hotels, man. Relax. I you know, know, I know, I, know, I am, I am. We'll never go back there again. <laughs> and, but I'm, those were good times. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to insert a clip. Mm. He did. He made another video from you guys. He made another video of our time in Niagara Falls. <laughs> no. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm making him shy. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below. Peace out. Love you guys.